Not a day goes by in Star Citizen where there is not some type of org drama. So the latest one now happens to be coming with Katie Bryan, or Bryan, or whatever the hell her name is, and the Skunk Works organization. Real brief, this is some YouTuber, and they run an organization in Star Citizen called Skunk Works. I've only run into them about three times so far into PU. Uh, each time was a jump town, and each time the result was the same. All I can say is that they stink just as much as their name implies they do. But this isn't about that. This is not about talking about how terrible Skunk Works is in game, which they are. But it's more about the mentality here. The the mentality that this individual has. And I'm going to bring it up on screen here. And if you look at this, you can see the series of tweets. And this is all public domain on Twitter. And this was, I guess, a gentleman by the name of Blue the Robot approached this person. And they wanted to speak to them about... I guess doing some type of collaboration or whatever. And before we begin, I understand why they do not want to collaborate, but it's not about that. What's interesting here, and the part that really gets me the most, is the following line. The org is an asset, which is then followed by, let me explain things more concisely. Skunk Works is a walled garden <laughs> I have built for the purpose of making content. Now, we're not going to ignore the rest. The rest is on here for you to read, right? But that part alone, that this person's organization is simply a a farm where the members are cattle to be farmed out for content. That's what this person's saying. This person is saying that my organization solely exists and the members within it are cattle to farm and harvest. And I'm going to use them to create content to grow my channel, to make me more money, to bring me more fame, and to bring me more notoriety. That is the most disgusting, ridiculous thing as an org leader myself that I have ever heard. Now that this has all come out and it's public knowledge that we're seeing the Citizen Kate person's real true self and what Skunk Works is for and everything that they're doing, it's all about money, it's all about fame, right? They come out and they release a statement. I'm not going to read it, but I'm going to leave it on the screen here. But let me sum it up for you, right? It's the typical false apology. It's the typical, oh, I'm sorry, some self-reflection. I'm going to I'm gonna think about this. I was having a bad moment. Yada, 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 yada. It's all bullcrap. It's all a lie. It, it's, it's essentially this person is now trying to farm pity. Even though that they initiated this, even though that they started this, right? They're trying to farm pity. Just be honest. Don't lie. Don't continue to lie. You're just lying again. You're still lying. You don't mean this. You're only saying this because you got caught. You're not saying this because you're sorry. There's no self-reflection going on here. The only thing you're worried about is the bottom line. Not your org. Nobody else but you. Just admit it. I exist to take care of my organization. I exist to provide my members and my community with a fun and engaging experience to make sure that when they show up and they log in to play with me that I am worthy of their time. That they have donated to me their time, their effort, their energy right? And they're there for me and I am there for them. And I need to make sure that they're having a good time. That I'm giving them an experience that they cannot get anywhere else. They do not exist for me to pump up views on my YouTube channel. They do not exist for me to propel my own fame and or infamy, however you, you might look at me. No, not that at all. I exist for them. They don't exist for me. That's how it's always been. I've been doing this for a long time. I've been running online the same online gaming community now for a very, very long time, since the absolute earliest was 98, but the most relevant is probably 2002 to 2003-ish area, but Planicide 1. And... I've always had this philosophy that I want to make it fun for you to show up and play with me. Because think about it, right? They don't have to be there. You're not paying them money. But you have to pay them in fun units. You've got to give them enough fun units that it's worth logging on for them. If they don't get enough fun units, they don't show up. I get it. You're going to say, well, you got a YouTube channel. Blah, 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 blah. Absolutely. The YouTube channel, what it exists for is to bring more members in to my organization it exists to bring in training information for members of my organization or the Star Citizen community as a whole. 
Okay, it exists for those things. But the YouTube channel does not exist to make me money. It's never going to make me money. It's pr that, that's I have a job. Okay, I, I have I work forty plus hours a week. This is my hobby. This is fun. The game is fun. The organization, the enclave, is fun. But this person, this this kitty Barney person, right? They're saying that their stinky skunk organization, it only exists for them to make them money, to make them some sort of fame and fortune, and that's it. Why would anybody want to be a part of that? I wouldn't. This is why people in Star Citizen who join orgs, they have such a bad experience with organizations. They get in there, they join an org. And the org is, I've talked about this before, whether it's Med Runner, now it's, you know, Stinky Skunk Works. It could be a lot of them. They join an org, and they are completely bogged down with drama or politics or unreasonable sets of requirements or unreasonable expectations. And that might be their first experience, right? They're joining an org because they want to learn how to play the game. And they think that an org is going to teach them how to play the game. They, but instead, they join an org where they find out, or maybe they never do, they find out that they're there as cattle, or they're there to be bossed around and pushed around, abused and used and whatever. Or they're simply not cared about. And then they leave. And then they go, well, I'm never joining an org again. Why would I want to join an org? Orgs are this, orgs are that. You see it in a variety of games. But you especially, 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 you see it here in Star Citizen. So why is this happening? Well, the, the, the times have changed. It used to be that if you wanted to join an organization, or we'll call it a gaming community, if you wanted to join one back in the day, you didn't have very many to choose from. And the ones that you could choose from were typically more... Oh, what's the word I want to use here? They were more um, reliable. They were more more vetted in their, you know, in their criteria and, and their credentials. Because back in the day... You had to have a .com, right? A .com, a .com. You had to have a web presence. You also had to have forums. And then you also had to have some type of voice communication, whether it was TeamSpeak 2 or Ventrilo. And all these things cost money. So if you were an organization leader or community leader, and you were putting in the time and the effort to have those things, it's coming out of your own pocket. And it's making sure... So that process alone is making sure that you are a cut above the rest when compared to today. Today, all you need to make a, a community, an org, is just Discord. Disposable Discord. That's it. Disposable Discord. Oh, look. Now I'm, I'm a community. I'm a clan. I'm an org. I'm a guild. All right? So you do. Just make a Discord. And it is so much proliferation of garbage. It's littering. It, it's video game, computer game littering. This is what all these groups are. So the people, they want to find a group. They have a whole bunch to pick from, and the majority of them are absolutely terrible. And the ones that look good, like Stinky Skunk Works, for example, their head, their, you know, the head person in charge, they're admitting right there that this is my quote-unquote walled garden. Again, more like a farm. This is my farm where I harvest my cows for content to make me money. That's it. I'm sure that if they see this, they'll say contrary to that, but they're lying. They're completely full of it. So, going back to the original thing, this is why people now, when they find these orgs, there's so many to pick from, and they're all so bad. Either they don't do things, right? They don't do things. Because the person who made them, they don't have an investment. They have no monetary investment. They have no emotional investment. It's just another fly-by-night, grab a few people, throw them in here, and be done. That's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. So, to, to sum all this up, right, this this video here, if you're watching this, right, you join what org you want to join. I'm not going to attack this the leader of that organization or that YouTuber, and I'm not going to attack the members individually. I'll call them stinky. They are called skunk works. I'll, I'll, base, a, I'll base my experiences on what I've encouraged or what I've encountered with them in the game, which has been them just rolling over and dying. All right. So maybe, maybe, this maybe, if that particular organization treated their members as more than animals, they wouldn't get slaughtered like animals. 
Anyway, thanks for watching.